It's Sin, and I'm back once again with another video. And if you want to see what I'm talking about today, stay tuned. T-shirt chick. Alright, Prince Squad, and to any new subscribers, and if this is your first time watching my videos, welcome to T-shirt Chick TV. On this channel, you're gonna learn everything about starting and running a successful t-shirt business. I have my own t-shirt business that I've been running for over 12 years, and on this channel, I like to give you the insight that I use to make my business successful. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into it. I had a question on one of my videos and the question was from Jay Wilson Creations. And the question says, with a million people that do t-shirts, if I start trying to sell shirts, how can I see my, how can I set myself apart to get noticed and get sales? All right, so that I thought was an awesome question, Jay Wilson, thank you for that question. And that is what I'm gonna try to answer today um, with this question right here, okay? So I'm gonna just take my glasses off. All right, so um, I'm gonna give you guys 10 things that should help you when you're running a business, should help you be successful in any, any type of business, really. But um, I'm using this for a t-shirt business, okay? So number one, and, and by the way, when I call these out, I, I try to start off like that, putting them in the best order, and then I, I end it with the number one thing, but I, I wanted to end with that one, even though I feel like that should be the first thing. Okay, so number one is customer service. When you have people come into your shop, you want to treat them with respect. You want to treat them the way that you want to be treated. You want to be patient with them. Every customer that comes in your shop, you want to treat them like they're number one, like they are, you, you know, the only customer that you have. Although, if you're doing good service, they're not going to be the only customer that you have. And I'm sorry, y'all, y'all have to excuse the rain. But, you know, you treat every customer like they're important. You can't be trying to rush a customer and stuff like that. But at the same time, you have to have rules. Because if, if I have a customer, sometimes you will have choosy customers and stuff like that. But if you do, you know, you have to set rules into place for them. Um, like with me, I have, when I create a design, I do that design one time. You know, the first time I do it, if they don't approve of it, I change it up. After that second time, they're gonna have to pay extra, you know, if they need me to create something different. But I haven't really had that problem, you know, with customers like that, but that's, that's one of the main things, customer service. Number two is gonna be quality products. Okay, if you're printing something and the vinyl is peeling off of your shirt or the cuts are not right, and I've seen both of those. I did a video a while back of vinyl coming off of a shirt, and I'll show it to you right up there. If you're interested, you can click right up there and check that out. But, you know, you got to make sure that you're using quality products. You know, if you're using just the cheapest vinyl, sometimes you might have issues with that. You want to make sure that everything you use is tested. You don't want to just jump on the bandwagon because everybody is saying you should use this. If that's something that's new, you want to make sure that you test it before you start printing shirts for customers and you know which could end up with you having issues with the products failing and also printing on a good shirt now most of my customers prefer the gilded shirts but you will have some customers that come in there and they're specific about what they want and they're going to want soft to the touch shirts and different things like that most other people like that are People who, like, if they're putting something on there that's representing their business and stuff like that, but, like, most family reunions and just people that's wanting shirts to wear for, like, a game or for a birthday or something like that, they don't really care. But the number two is quality products. All right, and the third thing, number three, is prompt service. If you tell your customers, yes, your shirt will be ready at a certain time or on a certain day, you want to make sure that you have your their order ready for pickup on that day. That's a thing that a lot of people that come here, you know, um, like you were saying with this question, a lot of people are trying to do t-shirts right now. So when, sometimes I have people that come in here 
and they say that they was dealing with somebody else, but it was taking them too long to get back to them and different things like that. So the way that you get those customers in there is you do prompt service. What I like to do is if I have a customer that comes in here and I know I can do that shirt the same day, I'll tell them I'll have it ready for them tomorrow. And then if I get the shirt done earlier, early enough, I'll contact them and let them know, hey, your shirt is done today. Or if they need the shirts by Friday, I like to have the shirts ready by Thursday at the latest. That way they can pick up the day before. If I can get the shirts done by, for Wednesday, I'll do that also. But prompt service and people remember the prompt service because a lot of times when you have customers that come in, they want their shirts like now. They don't understand the full process of what it takes to actually print t-shirts and they want their shirts like now. The fourth thing, number four, is going to be creativity. You want to come up with some creative designs. You don't want to just have simple designs, something that anybody could come up with. You want to be creative. And with that being said, you don't want to just be doing a lot extraness with your designs. Like sometimes you're going to have a business that comes in there and they want they know what they want. They want their logo. They want it plain. They want it one color, you know. But if you can make some creative designs, especially for your customers that don't know exactly what they want, you'll have a better chance of keeping them there. And when other people see their shirt, you'll have people coming up to them asking, who did your shirt? And that's how you get other customers by word of mouth. And that's the main thing as far as customer service is that word of mouth. You want to do the good customer service. You want to do creative and unique designs. Creativity by making good designs, unique designs. That's what number four is. Okay, number five. This one is one thing that if you're doing a clothing line that will help a lot, but also it can help with just a regular business if you're just doing custom prints for just you know random customers. You want to reach out to people, okay? Like, if you have different churches in your area, and you know during the summertime, I don't know about now with the pandemic and everything going on, but usually during the summertime, you know they're having vacation Bible school and stuff like that for the kids. You know, they have sporting events that go on in the summertime. You have businesses in your area and stuff like that. So, what I mean by targeting specific customers, okay, I want to target some churches because you know churches get t-shirts. I want to target some businesses in my area because you know that they need t-shirts. Um, it's sports teams in my area. So, you know, you do stuff like that, target specific people and you reach out to them. That way you can draw them in and increase your customer base. And number six is to know the trends. And this right here actually used to be my YouTube name before I turned it into Trill Chick. It was actually Trendsetter. So you want to be a trendsetter. Like when you see the trends, like with the different materials that you print with and stuff like that, like, okay, um, okay, with the, with, with the pandemic and stuff like that, as far as, you know, people needing masks and different things like that, you got to go with the trends. You got to be able to flip it and make your business useful during different times. You know, people may not be getting t-shirts, but you know, they may be getting other things. Okay, when it when it starts to get cool, you may want to bring out the hoodies. And that's the same thing as far as um, with different materials that you print with. You know, they have all different types of vinyls, all different kinds of inks. You want to stay ahead and the, the new stuff that, you know, different specialty type vinyls and inks, that's some of the things that you want to add to your business by going with the trends. The next one is number seven and that's to offer more okay when i when i say offer more i mean to add things to your business okay you're doing t-shirts you think you can do some hats okay you do uh vinyl printing you think you can learn to do screen printing you you may want to add embroidery to your business you know stuff like that just offering more because some people especially like where i'm at i'm in a small town so it's a lot of people around here trying to make t-shirts and a lot of the people, they're doing shirts for their family and stuff like that. So I had a customer do one time, and I'm trying to leave that video up here for you. But I had a customer that brought in a shirt that her family member had printed the letters on. And they 
needed me to put a photograph on it. That video, the video I'm gonna leave right up here, it's a pretty entertaining video as far as seeing bad work, but that's something that would help you get more business is by offering more. Like they went to that person to get one thing done because it was a family member, but they needed another thing done along with that. You know, that's just some of the things that you can do is offering more. You can also do stuff like, okay, say that somebody had a, a order and they just wanted some shirts for a business. Okay, well, you could, you could do a hat and put it in there. You could do a mug, like a tumbler or something and put it in there. You know, do something extra showing, hey, I do this, but I also do this. They may not order that specific thing that you put in the box as a sample for them, but they'll now know that you offer that service and it may be someone that they know that needs that and they'll pass the word along. And another thing that you could do as far as offer more is offer delivery. Now, I wouldn't recommend you delivering if it's, you know, if it's a long drive or in the next town over or something like that, but if it's com more convenient for them for you to deliver, then I would, I would recommend you know, offering delivery. Cause that's something that I do. Cause around here, this is a low income state. Pretty much the whole state is like a low income state. The rent and stuff here is cheap. And this area that I'm in, it's kind of a low income area. So some people don't even have cars, but with a lot of people around here, not having cars and stuff like that. But when their birthday come around, they are gonna want to get that t-shirt so they can tell everybody it's their birthday. And Another thing that I could do with that, they ordered that birthday shirt, I gotta drop it off. I could toss a pin in there or I could let them know when, when they order that shirt, I do buttons. You know, like the birthday buttons, stuff like that. You know, just offering more. And number eight is start a rewards program. So when you have customers that come in and they're regular customers, okay, every time they make five orders you could give them a reward or give them something off or throw them a extra something in there or buy you know let them get so many shirts for you know just a, a few little incentives to keep them wanting to come to you because they know that continuing to do business with you will result in them getting benefits from doing business with you you can also do like a re referral award you know if they Say that they send somebody your way. If they, after they send somebody your way, they could maybe buy a shirt and get a shirt for 10% off or, you know, just different things like that. I mean, I can't tell you exactly what to offer because you do want to be making money, you know, and stuff like that. I can't just tell you give everything away, but give a, give a reward, you know, give them something extra. Throw them a mask in there or something next time they are, you know, just something to give them an incentive of continuing to come back to you because they will be rewarded by continuing to use your service, which is a service they would be using anyway. But if they go to someone different, they won't be getting those rewards that you offer. Number nine is to use social media. And when I say use social media, I don't want you on there like begging people to come to your shop and stuff like that. What you do is you get on there, you might print a shirt to wear with some shoes that you got. You know, just post that, say, I printed this shirt to match my shoes, or, you know, just doing something, um, showing what you can do. And you want to post your best work on social media. You don't just want to post everything that you print on social media, like your best items is what you want to post on social media. And I feel like that will make you stand out because there's so many people just posting every single thing that they print. You don't necessarily want to do that. You know, if you need a portfolio and people just, just something for people to see, you can take photos of that, pictures and show it to them on your computer or iPad or something like that. But you want to just post your best pictures on social media. And also, if you can get your customers, say you printed some shirts for a family reunion, if you can get your customers to get together and take a picture and post it on their social media and tag you in it and say thanks, Say something like thanks to whatever your business name is for printing these shirts we everybody loved them or something like that you know it's kind of like a testimonial and along with the social media it's good to have a website i feel like if your business nowadays is 2020 and going into 2021 you should have a website and 
with everything that's going on, having a website is a good way to get more business. So I'm going to use that along with social media website because I feel like you could do the advertising on social media and get them over to your website. And number 10 is to run specials during slow times. Now, when I tell you to run specials, I'm not telling you you have to do this. This is just something that I know that works. You could do like so many shirts, like say 12 shirts for a certain price. And that will encourage people to come because they're like, okay, these shirts, they normally cost this amount. And now they, you can save this much money on them. Let's get together and go put in an order. And, um, and I feel like that's pretty much self-explanatory. You know, you give them whatever discount you can afford to give them. You don't want to be selling shirts for a dollar when you pay two dollars a shirt. You know, you want to do something that's fair, that's a good deal to get some people in, especially during the slow times. And I wouldn't recommend doing this like during the summertime. I probably wouldn't run this special like when it's slower times, that's when I would recommend running specials like that. I also have a bonus for y'all. So we actually gonna have 11 tips instead of just 10. Cause y'all know I like to give you bonus. I like to give you more than you bargained for. This number 11 should have actually been number one. And that's put God first. God should be first in everything you do. When you start a business, you need to make sure that you pray and talk to God about what type of business that you should start and make sure that that's something that he will want for you. And when you have a business, you have to dedicate your business to God by doing things such as paying your tithes, thanking God for your success, and just keeping God first in everything you do. When I remember back in the day when my business first blew up, like really before my business blew up, my pastor was uh, talking about this one time. And he was talking about how, you know, you go in your business and you pray over everything. You know, you walk throughout your business. And I used to do this all the time. And that's something I actually need to get back to doing more of. You know, you go in your business and you, you pray throughout your business. You ask God to bless your business and stuff like that. And, and whatever else your, are your business needs, you know, and God will come through. Whatever you need for your business, just keep that in it and make sure that you're doing right by people and that you're doing the things that you know that God will want you to do. And that's all I have for you today. Hopefully some of these tips helped you guys out. If it did, I would like for you to hit a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't because I do videos like this all the time. And even more videos such as tutorials, all types of videos. Follow your girl on Instagram, follow your girl on TikTok. Got videos coming for TikTok soon. And I hope everybody have a prosperous 2021. And I will see you guys in the next year. Print Squad out.